Chicken urologist Brian Hale. Brian, well, mm. Waffles is doing much better. She was a bit alarmed yes. with the thunder we had earlier. Waffles is a dog, by the well, way, for people the who viewers do not know. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Yes, the viewers know. I have received several Facebook messages from them. That's very sweet. I even had one um, asking for a photo of Waffles because she's so cute. But the thunder was very profitable. We needed some rain, and around the mission area, mm. you got a little bit of rain well, there. Waffles is. Perfect stuff. Now we need more. Let's take a look at what we've got out there for you right now. 78 overnight tonight. These hit and miss shower bouts. We're back in business. High pressure's relaxed its grip, so we can now experience these bouts of, uh, of shower and thunderstorm activity. It comes and it goes, and maybe you missed it, maybe you didn't, that kind of thing, each and every afternoon to evening. That's what's in my forecast. 78 overnight tonight, heading out the door in the morning. Expect temperatures to go from 78 to 82. Toot sweet. Next thing you know, we're looking good and warm and muggy. Then we go on into the rest of the day. Yeah, it's gonna be hot, but not as hot as weeks past. That high pressure was just grinding us under its heel. Now, we're looking at just regular, good old fashioned valley weather. And again, running through, look at that, see that east wind? That's your ticket right there. That east wind is, uh, well, is the sign that the east wind is that the sea breeze is blowing in from the east, and that's what helps to kick up some showers and thunder showers as long as the rest of the ingredients are there. And in absence of strong high pressure, it's there. Take a look. The sun heats the ground, the ground heats the air, the air rises like that, just rises right up. Well, something has to fill the void, so the cool air comes in off the gulf. Now, the cool air comes in as a curtain and then shoves its way on in, which helps to advance the process of generating rising air, which generates clouds, showers, and thunderstorms. So the whole process just becomes this little engine of driving showers and thunderstorms across the valley. That's why you see it start all about Los Fresnos inland. It doesn't start right at the coast. It has to be an interaction between the two. So it starts in about Los Fresnos, and then it the, uh, goes all the way on through, say, past Mission or whatnot. So th that's the process. And you can see it happens less, more, less, more, more, less, more, less, all the way on through the weekend and into next week. This is great. This means we finally have the daily dose back in session. Uh, running through tomorrow, yeah, it's just a 20% chance as the east wind pushes in, nudges its way in, and forces all of that to the west. Some of you will see it, some of you will not. Most of the time when the uh, sea breeze thunder shower activity happens, you're looking at it like this off in a distance going, hey, it's raining over there, but not for you. Maybe you get one shot out of 10, and that's it. And then again on Wednesday, a 30% chance for some rain and rumbles, pretty much about it. So Hidalgo County, yep, 99 at McAllen, uh, 97 at Westlaco, east-southeast wind, and 96 at Rancho Viejo, 90 at Port Isabel, running on through the afternoon with that 20% chance for a shower or thunder shower. And your heat index is going to be pushing about 103 to 105 in the upper valley and 100 to 105 in the lower and mid valley. Heading off to South Padre Island, good idea. 85 degree air temperature, 84 degree surf temperature. Moderate rip current risk, please remember that. Air quality is better. Less smoke means less haze, means easier breathing the entire week. And the tropical snapshot, that's the Atlantic Ocean there, folks. That's the Gulf of Mexico, ho-hum, no storms are expected to develop in the next five to seven days. Seven-day forecast runs you through with our daily dose, opportunity for it, each and every day. It's a lottery, except we're playing with rain and not cash, right on through the weekend. Boo! Boo. We want cash! <laughs> I'd much rather have cash. But Boo. speaking of winners... What, what? But speaking of winners... That's right, we're talking about Jerry Say of Laguna Vista. Woo! He has won himself a storm bucket. Are uh, you in the bucket? Now you can take the graphic. I advanced the graphic. There we go. Jerry Say, Laguna Vista, uh, you have won a bucket, and you can come on down to our studio, 9201 West Expressway 83, and collect your bucket of goodies. If you want to register for a bucket, go ahead to valleycentral.com, and you will be good to go, because hopefully we'll pull your name out of the hat. Who's picking? Are you picking? I don't pick. They don't trust me. Uh, yes. uh, Pulling yeah. the names out of the bucket. Yeah, the good old folks at Mott's have put everything together, and it's all right there.